Right. Let's see. Welcome along, everyone. Um, sorry about the slight delay. The uh, this iPad, this lovely iPad here, decided it didn't want to work, so we've gone for a backup, and that's absolutely, absolutely great. So we'll give everyone a little bit of a chance to join in, and then we'll be starting with our quiz. It's lovely to see you all joining in. I can see you all here. If you want to say anything, please feel free to comment, and I can read it. Um, if you need anything repeating, etc. Um, that would be much appreciated. Um, how many people? Nine people in so far. Excellent. Lovely to see you all joining in from home. <laughs> Hello, Luke. Hello, Junior. Well done for joining in. Um, today's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be like uh, Quiz Club. You're not going to be able to press it. So you're going to need a pen and paper. You're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. Um, but it uh, should be good. Uh, I'll give people a little bit of opportunity to get in. Um, while you're doing this, for this, what you're going to need is an uh, old-fashioned bit of paper and a pen or a pencil, whatever you want to write with. Um, we're going to do it that way. Um, so you can go and get those. And very importantly, I'm going to also need you to wash your hands before we start this, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a timer on this here. I don't need a pen and pencil, but I am going to go and wash my hands. Um, I'm going to give everyone three minutes to go and get those tasks done. I'm going to go and do the same, and then I will see you back here in three minutes for the start of our 20-question quiz. Looking forward to it very much. Here we go. Three minutes. Sorry, that's backwards for you, but I promise it's three minutes. Off you go. Okay, one minute and 10 seconds left for you all to finish, and then we are going to start. Nice, squeaky clean hands. So, the format of the quiz is going to be simple. There's going to be four rounds, each with five questions in. So, 20 questions overall, not too long, but hopefully enough to brighten the end of your week's after what has been one of the weirdest weeks of all time. Um, let's have a look at what everyone is saying. Um, oh, lots of comments down the side.
Okay, right, that is the sound of the timer going off. So, without further ado, we will begin our quiz, if I can get this thing to stop beeping. Excellent. So, welcome along, everyone. We've got four rounds. Um, first round is called Have You Paid Attention This Week? Um, so, hopefully, you've been doing all your work at home. Um, ho hopefully, there's no one sweating at home at the thought of... Uh, um, not having paid attention this week. Um, second one is a sport round. However, that, um, as you may have noticed, sadly, there is no sport at the minute. So that will be who was the last in certain categories of sport before everything got shut down. Third round is a music round. So I'm going to be playing music through this lovely microphone here. And you'll be having to guess the name of the song and of the, um, the artist or band or whatever it is. Then the final one is a, a very own... Um, film round. Some of them are quarantine based um, to keep it topical, um, but I'll explain those as we go through. So if you need me to slow down, if you need me to repeat anything, please just bang a comment in the paragraph. That'll make my life a lot, lot easier. All right. So round one, have you paid attention this week? So if you're not in year five at Rice Lane, this may be a little bit trickier for you but hopefully you should be fine at doing it anyway. Um, question one. What is six and two thirds as an improper fraction? I'll give you a bit of time to write it down. What is six and two thirds as an improper fraction? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to comment the answers, okay? That probably gives it away, <laughs> gives it away to other people. Where's your pen and paper? <laughs> um, right, question two. Uh, basically, the reverse of question one. What is 34 fifths as a mixed number? Okay, 34 fifths. And please, please don't write the answers in the comments, otherwise you're just giving up. It's like shouting out at a pub quiz app, basically. It's not going to help you, it's going to help everyone else. Okay, question three. What kind of animal is a frog? from the science this week. What kind of animal is a frog? <laughs> okay, question four, an English question for you coming up now at home. Um, please tell me to slow down if this is too fast for you. It's pretty difficult to judge when I can't see or hear any of you, so please comment. Um, what is the verb in the following sentence? Uh, okay, the verb in the following sentence. We enjoyed our daily walk in the sunshine. We enjoyed our daily walk in the sunshine. Okay, what's the verb in that sentence? And finally, final question of the first Have You Paid Attention This Week round. Um, this is not to do with anything you've done at home, but it should be you paying attention to what's going on in the news. So, how many times a day are you allowed to leave home for exercise? All right, that's not due to anything we've said. That's the government saying that one. So, how many times a day are you allowed to leave home for exercise? Get your answers in. Please comment if you need me to repeat any of the questions and I will happily do so for you. Question number two, again, was um, what is 34 fifths as an improper fraction? 34 fifths. Um, oh, sorry, as a mixed number, it already is an improper fraction. 
What is 34 fifths as a mixed number? Okay, spot on. We're going to move on to round two, the sport round. This is called Who Was the Last? So I'm going to make it multiple choice because it's tricky. <laughs> Do you really need me to read number two again? <laughs> or, all right, I'll read it once more. Um, what is 34 fifths as a mixed number? There we go. <laughs> it's the last time I'm reading number two. Um, okay, sport round, round two. Uh, Call who is the last, which means that I'm going to give you multiple choice because it's difficult, but it basically means who is the last person, which was the last team to do a certain thing before everything got shut down and our lives became much more boring. So, question one of the sport round. Who were the last Premier League team to score a goal? Okay, is it A, Chelsea, B, Leicester City, C, Manchester City, or D, Liverpool. To save yourself some time, you can just write the letter if you want. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, I'll repeat the question. Number one, who were the last Premier League team to score a goal? Is it A, Chelsea, B, Leicester City, C, Manchester City, or D, Liverpool? Okay, question two. Who was the last Formula One driver to win a race? Okay, last Formula One driver to win a race. Was it A, Sebastian Vettel, B, Max Verstappen, C, Lando Norris, or D, Lewis Hamilton? I'll repeat it. Who was the last Formula One driver to win a race? A, Sebastian Vettel, B, Max Verstappen, C, Lando Norris, or D, Lewis Hamilton? Hamilton. Okay, excellent. Question three. Who were the last team to win the Six Nations match? Um, rugby Union, for anyone who's not sure. Uh, who were the last team to win a Six Nations match? A. France. B. England. C. Scotland, D, Wales. Okay, is it A, France, B, England, C, Scotland, or D, Wales? Okay, question number four in the sport round. Who was the last player to score in the Champions League? Some of you might have painful memories of this one. Um... Was it A, Bobby Firmino? Was it B, Alvaro Morata? Was it C, Neymar? Or was it D, Juan Bernat? Okay, last player to score in the Champions League. Was it A, Bobby Firmino? B, Alvaro Morata? C, Neymar? Or D, Juan Bernat? Okay, and question five, last one of the sport round for you. Um, which golf tournament was taking place when sport was cancelled? So this was actually through uh, one day of its tournament. Golf tends to be four-day tournaments. So which golf tournament was taking place when the sport was cancelled? Was it A, the Players, B, the Masters, C, the Open, or D, the PGA? Okay, was it A, the Players, B, the Masters, C, the Open, or D, the PGA? Okay, so hopefully there's a mix at home for things that the kids might know and things that the adults might know that they're joining along with as, as well. Uh, any of those questions need repeating, okay? And if everyone comes in the comments asking for question two to be repeated, I'm going to think you're taking the mic this time. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, right. So the music round. Um, I'm going to play the start to a song. Um, and what you'll have to do is write down both the name of the song and the artist who is performing that song. Now, to give you a bit of a clue, all of the songs are some more loosely than others. They are quarantine themed. So you're going to have to figure out what they are. Now, some of them might be more aimed at the adults. Some of them might be more aimed at the kids. But hopefully there'll be a balance for everyone of you at home. So first quarantine theme song in the music round coming up now I'll try not to angle my phone so you could all see it let me know if you can't hear this at home there we go We'll do that much of that song for now. I think that should be enough. Um, I'll play the start of it again once more. There we go. So um, if you're joining this quiz halfway through, by the way, what it might be a best idea for you to do is wait until it's finished and then go and sit, look at it on Twitter. Um, go and find it on our YouTube channel because it'll be on there at the end anyway. And um, you've only, you're joining halfway through now, but it'll be there for you to play anytime you want, anytime that is convenient. Anyway, that was song one. So let me just get song two of this round up on my phone. Um, like I said before, they are all very loosely quarantine-based songs. When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. Right, well, that should be plenty of that song for most of you at home, but I'll play it once more just in case you need it. There we go, that was the second song for your quarantine music round. Okay, song number three coming up. Um, this one might be more, more aimed at the kids, but we'll see if anyone can get it. Right, I'll play that once more for you. That's probably probably the trickiest one on there. Um, if you don't know it, just have a have a guess. See what it sounded like. You could get half a point for the artist, and then just have a guess. Anything quarantine themed for the name of the song? Really, you might you remember the chance at least. There we go. That's as much as I'll give you of that one. Don't want to be here forever. Want to move on quite quickly. So that was song three. Song four is coming up now. It might be a bit more recognizable to most people. Can't touch this. Um, I think there should probably be minus points if you don't get that one, but uh, just in case you didn't hear that, I will play it one more time. Song four. Can't touch this. 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 Couldn't really have given you the answer many more times if it tried within the song, but there we go. You've still got to get the artist. Um, right, and finally... Question five for with the quarantine music 
round. Let me just find it. Here we go. Right, there we go. That was the uh, final question on the music round, the quarantine music round. I will play that one one more time. Right, there we go. That's the last where I will play that one for you. So, um, before I move on, does anyone want any of those playing again? Just throw it in the comments. Um, let me know um, before we go on to round four, our final round, our final five questions. Nope. Oh, number four wants playing again. <laughs> really? <laughs> I will play number four again. Um, I don't know if that was a joke or not. If it was, it was funny. If not, there you go. I've played it again. Um, right, I'm moving on to our final round. So this is our film round, okay? And for any of these... Um, answers. The answer is either going to be Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus, because I know we've got a lot of spare time at home. I know we're watching a lot of films. So I want you to tell me which of those three streaming services each of these films I'm about to say is on. So Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus is going to be the answer for each of those. Okay. So question number one. Uh, or film number one, really. It's not much of a question, but Minions. Okay, I want you to tell me, is Minions on Netflix? Is it on Amazon Prime? Or is it on Disney? Okay, question two. I would like you to tell me which of the three streaming services Paddington is on. The original Paddington movie. All right, question three. I would like you to tell me again, just say they are Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus. Um, which of the three streaming services is Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi on? Number four, okay, which of those three streaming services is the film Coco on? Is it Netflix, is it Amazon Prime, or is it Disney Plus? And final question of the quiz, and obviously of that round as well, I want you to tell me, is the Angry Birds movie on Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus? Plus, okay, is it is it on Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus? The Angry Birds movie. <laughs> okay, that's brought us to the end of our quiz. However, I am fully aware that I need to go through the answers so you can see how well you have done. So, um, before we do that, does anyone need any of the questions repeating because they weren't sure? Um, if someone says question four on the music round, I am going to say no. <laughs> Any of the others we can go through. Um, just let me know, but speak quickly before I go through the answers. Okay, I will assume that we are all fine for all of the questions. <laughs> yeah, number four on the music round. There we go. I asked for it really, didn't I? Um, <laughs> right, we're going to go through the answers. Uh, a few at a time. Uh, you can swap round 
get someone else to mark it, or you can just, you know, just just be honest. You can. Uh, oh, sorry. Number one, round one. All right, that's the one we're about to go through the answer for, so I may as well repeat it and give you a little bit of time. Um, round one was the have you paid attention this week round. Question one was what is six and two thirds as an improper fraction? What is six and two thirds as an improper fraction? I'll give you a little bit of time to have a go at that if you didn't manage to before, and then we will crack on. Right, okay, so the answer to question one, um, what is six and two thirds as an improper fraction is, of course, 20 thirds, all right? Six times three is 18, add the two is 20, turn it back to thirds, 20 thirds for the first one. Question two, what is 34 fifths as a mixed number? The answer is six and four fifths, okay? 34 divided by five is six, remainder four, so you turn it into six and four fifths, all right? Excellent. Number three, what kind of animal is a frog? It is, of course, an amphibian, which was your science work yesterday and part of your English as well. So if you did that, that was an easy question for you. Frog is an amphibian, answer to question three. Question four, I'll try to trick you with this one. What is the verb in the following sentence? We enjoyed our daily walk in the sunshine. The verb is actually enjoyed, okay? Walk is a noun in this verb because it is our daily walk. It is a thing. So enjoyed is the verb that you are looking at, okay? Uh, answer for question four was enjoyed, if I didn't make that clear. Um, and question five, how many times a day are you allowed to leave home for exercise? The answer is once, according to the government, okay? Um, just the once, doesn't specify quite for how long, but once is how often we should be leaving the house. Okay, round two, the sport round. Who was the last? This one was multiple choice, so I'll read out the letter, just in case you've forgotten what you've chosen, but I'll also read it out. Um, yes, I did know Boris Johnson has coronavirus, but thank you for the extra info. Okay. Um, question one, who are the last Premier League team to score a goal? The answer was B, Leicester City. Um, they beat Aston Villa 4-0 in a Monday night game before everything got cancelled. So um, Leicester City B was your answer for that one. Question two, who was the last Formula One driver to win a race? Um, it was Lewis Hamilton, D. Um, that was actually at the end of last season because the first race of the season got cancelled just before it was about to um, about to start. The teams had all flown to Australia, but it didn't happen. So Lewis Hamilton, D, was your answer for that one. Um, everyone else's sound okay? Someone's sound has gone off. Is that... Just let me know that you can hear me. Otherwise, there's not a lot of point in me going on. Everyone else okay for sound? Okay. I think everyone's all right. Thank you for letting me know. I think uh, it might be a problem on, on the other end there. Right. Anyway, question three. Who were the last team to win a Six Nations match? The answer was C. Scotland were the last team to win a Six Nations match. They beat France. Um, so, um, if you've got no sound, um, go back through when this is on Twitter. I realise this is pointless if you can't hear me, but uh, go back on Twitter at the end and it will be on there. Um, uh, in fact, I will type. Can I type something in here? Yes, I can. Um, I'll just type something quickly. Um, video will be on. Twitter later. There we go. Right. Um, 
question, uh, sorry, the answer to that one was C, Scotland were the last team to finish Six Nations match. They beat France. Um, question four, who is the last player to score in the Champions League? Um, there were two games going on at the same time, but the, um, the final player to score um, right at the end of extra time, painfully for probably quite a lot of you listening, was in fact B, Alvaro Morata was the last player to score in the Champions League before that all got closed down. Okay, so the answer was B. And question five, final one of the sport round. Okay, that is um, the golf tournament that was taking place when sport was cancelled, so it was only through one day, um, is A, the Players' Championship was the one that was cancelled. All right, it was A. Okay, right, the music round. I will play the songs just to remind you what on earth was going on in it. But hopefully we got a few of these. Remember, it's half a point for the artist and half a point for the name of the song. If you were pretty close with the name of the song, just, just give yourself half a point. If you're miles off, obviously don't give yourself it. Right, so question one was this. Lovely melodic song, uh, and that is, of course, Home by Michael Bublé. Okay, Home by Michael Bublé, which I think we can all relate to at the minute. Question two was this um, iconic anthem. Okay, and that was called I'm Gonna Be, and then in brackets, 500 miles, and it's by the Proclaimers. Okay, um, saw lots of very amusing people on the internet. Um, crop a picture of Boris Johnson telling us we can only go for one walk a day, and then a picture of them underneath. Um, saying, say no more, which uh, made me laugh quite a lot in these, uh, these times. Right, uh, so that was I'm Gonna Be, 500 miles, uh, by the Proclaimers. Um, Number three was this one here, probably the most difficult one to recognize. That was Bored by Billie Eilish. Um, I must admit, I've never heard it before either. Um, but it seemed to fit with the quarantine theme. So Bored by Billie Eilish, number three. Okay, number four on the music round, the one that we all wanted repeating so much, um, was, of course, it was, of course, You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. Uh, the U is just the letter U, but if you wrote U, spelled it properly, you can have your half point anyway. That's absolutely fine. So You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer was number four. And number five, um, maybe the most relevantly named song to the whole quarantine theme. Okay, this song is called Work From Home, and it's by Fifth Harmony. Okay, Work From Home by Fifth Harmony, uh, which, believe it or not, is what I'm doing now, um, which... It's great. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Right. On to the final round. The answers for that. Uh, the Netflix, Amazon Prime, or Disney Plus, whichever the streaming service was. Hopefully we can whiz through this one. Um, so, question one. Uh, Minions. Minions is, in fact, being streamed on Netflix at the minute. Question two. Paddington. That is being streamed on Amazon Prime at the minute. Um, question three, Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. That is being streamed on Disney+. Plus. Question four, Coco. That is being streamed also on Disney+. Plus. So two in a row for Disney+. Plus there. Um, and then question five, final one of this round and of the quiz. The Angry Birds movie is being streamed on Netflix at the minute. Okay, so what I would 
love you to do is um, you don't need to tell me your comments on Periscope here because then that'll disappear for forever. What'd be great if you could do is comment what you got um, on underneath the link to this on Twitter. Um, I'm also going to go and put this video after this onto the Year Five Rice Lane YouTube channel so that anyone can watch it on there as well. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to make this a weekly thing um, because I had a lot of fun writing it um, and I had a lot of fun watching you lot request the same songs over and over again. Um, so um, thank you for all your hard work at home this week. Thank you kids for doing all the things that we asked you to do. Thank you parents for chipping in. We really, really appreciate it. Um, hopefully this was something a little bit enjoyable to give back to you. Have an excellent weekend, everyone, with whatever you choose to entertain yourself with. And we'll be back on Monday with more competitions, um, Time Tables Rockstars, Hive Games, whatever you call it. Please check the website and keep following us on Twitter. And also check our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And hopefully, I will see you next Friday for next week's quiz. Okay, have an excellent weekend, everyone. See you later.